Kieran Williams is a young artist from England, a very young artist. He's just eight years old. Kieran paints in an impressionist style that's won him the nickname the Mini Monet, and his work now sells for thousands of dollars. Here's CBS News correspondent Richard Roth. His show sold out in half an hour, 33 landscapes and town scenes raising more than $200,000 from buyers charmed perhaps by the art, but for sure by the artist. His name is Kieran Williamson and he's only eight. The surprise for his family began on vacation two summers ago when Kieran, then turning six, asked for something different to play with. He asked us to buy him some blank paper um, and some pens while we were down there. He began to sketch, then paint, and he's been at it ever since, inspired by the internet and art books and the postcard pretty outdoor studio that's all around him in Norfolk on England's east coast. Kieran studied technique in a local watercolor class last year. I was the youngest in the class. Everyone else were grown-ups. And with talent that's still developing, he says the hardest part is getting the balance right between light and shadow. How do you figure that you're going to get better at that? Practice a lot. Richard Roth, CBS News, London. Now, as Richard said, Kieran's home is in Norfolk, England, a largely rural area. It's about 100 miles northeast of London. And joining us now exclusively, exclusively from there this morning is Kieran Williamson, along with his mother, Michelle, and his father, Keith. Good morning to all of you. Thanks so much for being here. And Kieran, I want to ask you the first question that I think everyone wants to know is, how did you learn to paint so well so young? Um, well, I took um, more, more more color, and more, um, more color class with um, Brian Ryder and um, three week, um, th three um, day in introducing to oils. Now I heard when you were in that class, it was mostly adults, and then you. What was it like to paint alongside these adults, and how do you think your paintings compare to theirs? Well, um, well, it didn't feel that much um but um it feels really weird that i'm only eight and um i was painting alongside adults and um everyone in the class really liked my pictures yeah it's great that you're not intimidated by that i'm sure they were very impressed with you so michelle you know for you when you first saw some of these paintings that kieran was making what did you think uh, just amazed, wondered where on earth it had come from. Um, Keith and I aren't artistic, although we do collect paintings that are by Norfolk artists. Um, so I think we, we just assumed that he was inspired by the pictures that we had on the walls when he was younger um, and that he tried to capture that on paper. But you must just be blown away by the talent. I mean, this goes way beyond what most eight-year-olds are doing. I mean, a lot of parents say my seven or eight-year-old could paint better than that. It's actually true in your case. Yes, yeah, but we've seen a gradual progression from the time that he started when he was five. You know, every now and again, every few months, he'll, he'll just go up another level. Um, and, you know, we, we just, you never know what's coming next, and we just continue to be amazed the whole time. So, Keith, obviously this is about your son's enjoyment and his love of art, but there's a nice side benefit to this. He's been selling these paintings. They're selling for a lot of money, more than $200,000 he's made. What do you do with that? Is that about education, or, or how do you handle the finances? Um, Kieran's finances will be sort of invested into things for him at a later stage of his life. Um, we're trying to tie up his money so that while he's like in his early teens, he can't just waste it. And then... Uh, Hopefully, you know, the investments will come good and he'll be able to carry on painting without the pressures of life. Great. So, Kieran, one last question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, really good artist and a professional footballer. Well, I think, you're, <laughs> I think you're well on your way, at least to the first part of it. So, congratulations and thank you guys all for being here. We really appreciate it. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thanks.